What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Tori and Rain Reloader channel. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to click that bell and have your notifications set to all so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video or go live. Also, be sure to comment, like, and share this content on your various social media platforms. So today, we will be talking about a statement that was released by actor Ewan McGregor. Now, if many of you aren't familiar with his work, you definitely know him for being most famously known for playing Obi-Wan Kenobi in the prequel trilogy of Star Wars. And also now on Disney Plus, he is playing Obi-Wan Kenobi in the series Obi-Wan Kenobi, which basically takes place after episode three and before episode four. I think it's like 10 years after Order 66. But the reason why I'm on here to talk about him today is I'm going to show you what happens when a PC individual gets off cold and comes into the defense of someone, we'll just say a black person, in this case, Moses Ingram, because by now y'all already know the issues going on with that situation. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play for you this one minute audio that he gave out as a statement in defense of Moses Ingram. And then I'm going to show you what happens when someone like him gets what I say off code. It seems that some of the fan base from this influential fan base have decided to attack Moses Ingram online and send her the most horrendous racist DMs. And I heard some of them this morning and it just broke my heart. Moses is a brilliant actor. She's a brilliant woman. And she's absolutely amazing in this series. She brings so much to the series. She brings so much to the franchise. And it just sickened me to my stomach to hear that this had been happening. I just want to say as the leading actor in the series, as the executive producer on the series, that we stand with Moses. We love Moses. And if you're sending her bullying messages, you're no Star Wars fan in my mind. There's no place for racism in this world. And uh, I totally stand with Moses. Okay, so that was his statement right there. Um, I want to say he posted it probably to his Instagram account. And it was just like very short, brief to the point. It wasn't long and drawn out, you know, so dramatic and everything like that to the point where he started to ramble. It was uh, less than a minute long. It was about 51 seconds long. Uh, basically him coming to the defense of Moses Ingram, who y'all by now have already seen the video that I've done concerning her. Now I'm going to show you what happened when he got off cold and not only just him, but the people over at Star Wars and Lucas Arts and Lucas Films and whoever else who came into the defense of her. So this is coming from the gamer.com. It was posted June 3rd, 2022. It says Obi-Wan is being review bombed as Disney calls out racist. So it was one thing when Moses Ingram came to her own defense. It was one thing that happened. But when Star Wars, like the people over there, people over at LucasArts and the lead actor who was Ewan McGregor comes out in defense of her all at one time, or at least in, in their own way. Now it's an issue. That's why I said in my initial video that that Star Wars fandom is some of the most toxic people in all of different all fandoms as far as like sci fi and all different things in that realm. Now, in case y'all are unfamiliar, what a review bomb is, is basically when people go onto these sites that allows them to review different movies or shows more pertaining to Rotten Tomatoes, because that's really where it's famously popular at. And if they don't like something... Well, let me put it this way. If somebody says something that they don't like, they will go and do a review bomb, which basically means they'll give it its lowest rating. They'll start talking up trash about the show, hoping that the show, based on the ratings that they give it, will pull the show down in hopes that it can get a cancellation and not get picked up for, say, another season. No matter where at in the show's franchise it actually is. And that's what they do. The show is a very good show. I don't know how many of you who are listening right now watch the show, but I'm actually enjoying the show right now. And it's rumored that there's possibly going to be a season two. It's just a rumor. I'm not entirely sure if it is or it isn't because they said when they promoted this that it was going to be a limited series, which means it's only for a one 
time run. It's a one fell swoop. It's not it's not coming back for another season. Unlike Loki, like the show Loki that we know is getting a season two. A lot of shows that are on Disney Plus are a lot of one off shows, meaning that they don't get picked up for a second season because it's supposed to segue them into getting them into like a MCU movie. But outside of the MCU, we're going back to Star Wars. Yeah, that's what a review bomb is. They go and they leave, leave ridiculous ratings. They leave blaspheming comments all because they don't like what a person said. Now, keep in mind, they're calling out the racism in the Star Wars fandom and they don't like it. Like, I can't count on my hand on my, uh, you know, the fingers and my toes. How many commentaries I've probably come across in the last couple of weeks of people literally getting upset of them just calling out blatant racism in that fandom because they don't like they don't like it. As a matter of fact, there was one particular PC individual who's a part of that. Fan- I don't even know if I want to call them a part of the fandom because a lot of them really aren't. They're just doing it because they need clicks and views. Uh, literally went off topic when Ewan McGregor came out and said what he said. And went into talking about this man's personal life because allegedly a while back he cheated on his wife. Like, how did we go from him talking about and defending his co-star to you talking about him allegedly cheating on his wife or being, you know, uh, displaying infidelity towards his marriage? That had they they don't conflate. They have nothing to do with each other. But they had to find a way to bring that in to try to, I guess, smear his name or his image as if, I guess, people in the know didn't know about this already. And it wasn't public knowledge. And mind you, that was a PC man that did that. How caring of him to do it, too. But I'm just saying that it's just very interesting. But let me I'm just saying this is what happens when a PC individual gets off code. Now, will this hinder Ewan McGregor's career? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. It's not going to bring his career down at all. But it just shows you this whole thing has exposed a lot. So those who really aren't into this, for some of you, this is your first time experiencing or getting a some kind of a view of how these little fandoms work. I'm not a part of any fandom. None of them. I'm a casual watcher. Like, I will watch this show, you know, like it or not, hate it or love it, and just leave it where it is and keep it moving. But a lot of these people that are part of these so-called fandoms are very, are some staunch dub S. You'll probably find them in some kind of a 4chan chat room form somewhere. I guarantee it. Because, like I said, the same thing, like I said in my video about Moses Ingram, they did the same thing to John Boyega. They did the same thing to, what's her name, Kelly Marie Tran. They did the same thing to Ahmad Best. They did the same thing to Samuel Jackson. I wouldn't be surprised if they did the same thing to Billy D. Williams, but I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't around back then. And media was way different at that at those times. But yeah, this is how they reacted. Oh, you don't, you're going to say that we're racist and, and we're not when you really are? Fine, we're going to review bomb your show. We're going to bring down your Rotten Tomato score. We're going to bring down your audience score. And we're going to leave all these blaspheming comments. And hopefully they don't pick you up for another season. Quote, possibly. But yeah, like I said, this is how toxic these individuals are. That's just who they are. And like I said, a lot of them probably say things they don't even mean. They're just doing it for clicks, views, and money. They have something out there called hate bait. You know, it's the it's like the eat more evil cousin of clickbait, which, you know, you click, you know, with a title, you clickbait or something. It could be a thumbnail that make you click and it's clickbait and it's something completely different. Hate bait is basically that thumbnail that I posted up of that uh, red headed chick in the previous video. That would be considered hate bait because of the thumbnail and what she wrote on it. Of course, it didn't really go in her favor because that literally brought down her little stock or whatever. But I heard some things about her in the past that she has said even more recently before that. And they just say she's just not a good person. And I can tell. But, yeah, I just wanted to bring this uh, to your attention. And that's my take on it.